Hi, welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a member of staff or a volunteer will post a work from the museum's collection and post some questions for discussion. Check back each weekday at 10 a.m. for a new post and a new discussion. My name is Alex Adi Callen, and I'm the coordinator for the Rosenthal Education Center. And today I would like to share a painting in the museum's collection that is arguably probably one of the most famous paintings at the museum. That painting is Undergrowth with Two Figures by Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh painted Undergrowth with Two Figures in 1890, just weeks before van Gogh's untimely death. It is a quintessential van Gogh, bright colors, deft and expressive brushwork, and a sense of mystery or even possible foreboding. There is so much that can be said and has been said about this fascinating painting, and I am certainly no expert. Instead of talking about the painting, I'd like to share my own personal connection to this particular work of art. In 2013, the Cincinnati Art Museum launched its involvement with the Google Art and Culture's Art Project, joining over 500 acclaimed art partners from across more than 60 countries that work to preserve and promote culture online. Not only can you explore the Cincinnati Art Museum galleries from the comfort of your home, which is how we're all experiencing the art museum right now, you can also view a super high resolution gigapixel image of undergrowth with two figures, allowing you to see every brushstroke and crack in the painting surface. As for my own connection to this work, as I mentioned before, I am the coordinator for the Rosenthal Education Center at the museum. This means that part of my job, job involves working with the museum's design team and education department to come up with fun and interactive exhibits for the rec. In the fall of 2016, we brought undergrowth with two figures to life in the rec. Due to Google's extra high resolution image of undergrowth with two figures, we were able to blow it up to a life-size degree and create an interactive space within the rec for visitors to explore. Visitors could create flowers to add to the painting, learn about its restoration, and examine every detail. I have so many great memories of this rec exhibit. It was so neat to bring this painting literally up close and personal to our visitors. Speaking of the rec, while it is temporarily closed to the public, as is the rest of the museum, when it does reopen with extra safe social distancing and sanitization practices, I invite you to visit. From now until the end of April 2021, the REC features an incredible art installation called Everything is Everything, created by Cincinnati artist Terrence Hammonds. Please check Cam Look next Wednesday, December 9th at 10 a.m. for more information about Terrence Hammonds and Everything is Everything. You can also visit the REC page on our website for more info. Finally, I'd love to hear from you. Have you visited the Rosenthal Education Center? What was your favorite rec theme or art project? What would you like to see in the future? Please comment below. Thanks and see you next time. Bye.